A very good evening to all of you. I would like to welcome everyone to the inaugural program on the training session conducted by the program for data science hosted by Oxygen Artificial Intelligence. Oxygen Artificial Intelligence was established in Sri Lanka to enlighten the artificial intelligence platform to showcase their progress, creativity, and skills in the field of data science. Also, in producing entrepreneurs in the field of business, engineering, biology, and medicine by the year 2027. I would like to introduce a renowned personnel, Mrs. Champika Dilhara Amarsekara, Senior Attorney at Law, the Chairperson of the Sri Lankan Foundation Institute, who is unable to be with us today due to unforeseen circumstances. Mrs. Champika Dilhara Amarsekara assumed her duties on 16 January 2020 at the Sri Lankan Foundation Institute and is 15th chairperson. She is the first chairwoman of the Institute, which has a history of nearly 50 years in adult training. Mrs. Amal Sekra has prior experience in both public and private sectors, where she has contributed in large scale to entrepreneurship. She is a well known in the corporate sector as a capable woman entrepreneur. She was the youngest female student to enroll in the law college in 1980. In her capacity as a chairperson of Sri Lankan Foundation Institute, she is determined to convert the Sri Lankan Foundation Institute to a fully fledged academy of excellence. Moving on, I would like to invite the keynote speaker of today's program, uh, Mr. Balchandra Nishendra, founder and CEO of Nishay, to commence with today's proceedings. Nishay is an incinical research hub for aspiring scientists, a source of artificial intelligence innovation for bioinformatics and big data technology industries. I would also like to request if you have any questions, please include them in the chat box. We will get back to you at the end of this session. Over to you, sir. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, well, let's start. Uh, due to the some uh, technical difficulties, give, give me give us uh, one or two minutes uh, for we'll be able to start. Okay, so uh, prior to uh, commencing uh, the program, right? So we have uh, four sessions uh, for this program. So we are in the session one, which is the very um, basic introduction of uh, basic Python programming. And uh, prior to the program uh, commencement, right? I would like to uh, know your uh, the basic understandings of uh, Python programming. So which would be uh, much easier for me to. Uh, take the uh, codings and the introductions uh, easily, right? And because of that, I'll be enabling uh, uh, polls, right? Uh, so then you would be able to um, easily answer uh, two simple questions in an, like an MCQs uh, right now. So there will be two uh, user metric surveys and you will be having uh, one minute to answer the two questions.
Okay. Uh, thank you for answering the questions. I'm still, I think, around 10 percentage of uh, participants has to answer. Okay. So let's uh, let them answer. So what we'll do is, um, uh, so I what I can see is uh, majority of the uh, users uh, are new to um, new to the Python program. Like around uh, overall the, the students. Uh, around uh, over 600, 700 students are beginners and 240 um, uh, intermediates. And in terms of uh, family, familiarity of uh, data science, uh, almost uh, around 90% uh, of them are beginners and there are intermediate, advanced, and, and obviously there are experts uh, as well, right? Uh, so what uh, we would like to know is, uh, since uh, this is a very basic program, uh, sometimes for advanced or intermediate expert uh, students, uh, it might be a little boring, right? Uh, in the first session would be boring. Okay, so I'll be closing the call data, right? Metric surveys. Okay, so let's uh, start. So let me share the data as well. Okay, so hope uh, you can uh, check the screen as well. So overall data. Okay, so let's, uh, before we uh, start on, right? We would like to uh, give you a basic information on this, right? But uh, how do we get this um, Python programming, right? And uh, how do we get the uh, software in, right? So, we, uh, so even before, because uh, we would li have, like to have these uh, programs on a pure applicative basis. So because of that, right, what uh, we are going to do is uh, we are going to start with uh, the informal introduction today, right? Uh, so what uh, we will be doing is, I'm having a post control issues, okay. So what we will be doing is, uh, this is uh, the main page, you can get this one. And uh, if, in case if you want to access, right, in case um, uh, for the accessing information, I think, uh, yeah, this is the correct page we know, right? Yeah. So what we will be doing is, uh, I'll be sharing the link here. And in the program, right, the program comprises on uh, uh, running the programs uh, for four weeks. And uh, today's uh, session one is a Python programming and overview. It's a beginning session on uh, 4th of August. And uh, next week, Wednesday, uh, there will be data mining and data collections and data manipulations on the third week and data visualization on the fourth week. And each of these uh, four sessions are, uh, have a separate learning materials and a recording uh, sessions as well, right? So if you get this uh, link, I'll be sharing the link with you all in a while. Uh, so each session you will be, uh, uh, I'll be sharing with the uh, O2AI team and uh, they will update in the uh, main uh, login. So it will be easier for you to access this and uh, get in touch with you. Uh, so each session uh, regarding the softwares and the session recordings and additional learning uh, materials and there will be practice quiz for each of the session. So each, uh, there will be uh, dates also. Uh, I I have shared with the dates, uh, dates will be updated soon. So once the links are there, you can easily access them. And each uh, week uh, when the sessions uh, ends, you can go back to the session recording and as well as the additional learning, learning materials. And you will be having around uh, six or seven days until the next session starts. So be, uh, within that, uh, you can read the additional learning materials and you can uh, practice uh, the quiz before prior to the uh, next Wednesday session. And apart from that, there will be so separate um, uh, IDs uh, for uh, processing uh, or uh, working with uh, Python program. Okay, so today what we are going to do is we are going to access uh, the downloading the Python. So the Python program, you can be downloading it. Uh, I think the link works here. So you can, by clicking the Python link, right? Uh, you will be able to access the latest page of the Python uh, programming, uh, sorry, Python 
so here it depends on uh, what uh, program and software you might require right uh, based on um, uh, if you have a windows based uh, systems or a linux or mac os system right so depending on that uh, you can download but generally if you uh, download right generally download it uh, if you click uh, python 3.6 uh, 3.9.6 you will be automatically get the uh, installation file and all you have to do is you have to save the installation file and once the file is there uh, you can install it right uh, because i use um, directly a uh, windows uh, 10 but in case uh, if you are using a linux operating system or a apple mac operating system uh, based on your operating system you can choose the, the python you would like to install and uh, you can install right uh, in linux uh, there are many other uh, uh, ways to install right even the command prompt also you can install uh, if you know the text user interface command prompt or otherwise uh, by manually you can download it based on uh, what linux environment you are going to install right and uh, based on uh, there are uh, different books uh, if you need additional uh, references and there are uh, programs i mean uh, in these uh, versions uh, 2.7 or less than uh, 2.7 of uh, python uh, have uh, different uh, ranges i mean there will be a very not a major changes but there are minor changes uh, you might you have to know right so when you are specifically referring to a, a particular uh, reference material uh, all you have to always check whether which version this is compatible with right okay so once uh, let's say once uh, as soon as i download the uh, installation since i have already installed uh, i will get three installations uh, in windows right in linux also you will get uh, similar three installations right so as soon as uh, let's say the installation file is done you will be able to access Python 3.8, uh, which uh, is an older um, installation, uh, which I have already installed, right? Here, I will be having a Python 3.8, 32-bit uh, shell, right? And the Python idle for here, right? And you can always use both, right? In case, uh, if you want to access uh, text user interfaces, right? You can access uh, command prompt, right? Uh, text user interface. And you will be directly accessing the uh, Python. I mean, you can execute Python commands from here, right? At the same time, right? In case uh, if you would like to access, or if you if you would like to use a little more uh, work to be done, right? You will be able to use the Python idle. And you will be after the installation right you will be getting a python idle it will be similar to the python shell right in if you look at the both the python shells right one in uh, black which is a command prompt uh, cmd type and the other one is a shell right both are in usually we should call it a shell right and uh, you will be see uh, checking on a three uh, less than sign okay sorry uh, greater than signs right and so in this uh, greater than signs immediately after the greater than sign um, environment you would be able to type and execute the commands right in addition to this uh, both of these shells right you can choose whatever you like right but at the same time uh, there are advantages over one and another right uh, so the only advantage here is in the python shell the idle you can open a new file here and you can type and execute a bulk python codes uh, which we will be covering in uh, next week so uh, we will be using this so that's one advantage and if you ask me uh, what is the best uh, python uh, id to run right uh, this is not the only uh, this is uh, by default you will get it uh, once you install python uh, but there are other python uh, uh, ids right for example uh, you can choose uh, spider id or jupyter notebook right uh, you can choose one of this uh, 
uh, if you are an expert right the only thing uh, the only differences between the spider or jupiter right um, uh, based on uh, different i mean this will support uh, many other uh, programming languages as well right uh, many other features uh, when it comes to uh, data visualization and uh, data manipulation on a later stage but the only thing is uh, in a beginner's note right in the first session uh, i'm not going to um, uh, review anything on spider or jupyter notebook right why because uh, this will auto correct uh, several features and it is going to suggest and uh, intent uh, management and a lot more right so as a basic user i would uh, not like to engage in a, a spider or jupyter notebook at the moment right so the what the best thing is we will be using the basic uh, python shell the idle uh, with the manual entry right so here if we make mistakes the more the more the mistakes we make we will be learning a lot of new um, codes new errors and we will remember whatever we type right so that's an advantage here of uh, using the basic shell right so as a beginner right except the students who said uh, intermediate or even advanced or an expert you can use uh, the, the major um, ides right but uh, here it's uh, for a beginner it would be good in the beginning right and apart from that right as soon as you install right i think uh, you put you can uh, i have already set it up uh, depending on the uh, settings right you can configure the python idle settings so in case uh, if you want to increase the text uh, font colors or change the colors i mean font types uh, you can choose right i'll be sharing 16 here so then it would be much uh, yeah visible right so then it's easy for you to see clearly on the zoom environment and in case if you want to check the error commands here right you can choose the color or the texture or the how you are going to change it right i'm not going to change anything here and there are uh, keys uh, in case if you want uh, 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 faster keys right custom binding keys you can use this and it would be easy and the general and other extensions right so if you don't know anything in the beginning uh, so leave this as it is uh, you can even check uh, font sizes in the beginning so that's the only thing i'm going to change it right now right so this will look uh, big so then uh, big enough for you to uh, refer okay I'm sorry okay thank you okay so what are we going to do is uh, we are going to run a series of uh, scripts right uh, so here what we can do is uh, I have already prepared some of the scripts here, right? Right. So what is the interactive uh, mode, right? So each of this, uh, we are going to check it on here, right? Uh, so in this, the basic uh, Python shell, right? Once you, as soon as you install, you would be able to access this one. Right, it will be like a basic uh, calculator and all. Right, so let's uh, skip the first one and we'll start from the uh, common section as a Python uh, calculator. Right. So usually, if Python, um, the basic uh, idle will be functioning as a calculator. Right. For example, if you want to add five plus five, you will be able to get the answer. Plus three right so likewise right at the same time you can able to run much more uh, codings for example uh, multiplications right and each time when we uh, execute a coding right we have to wait until the pro process ends right and once the process ends automatically you will get the greater than signs three greater than signs so here you can run the next lines of codes here right in case if you want to add a additional codes right so the only problem is here we, when we uh, multiply right so he the python works with from left to right so uh, so as, as a, just uh, as a calculator right so what happens is uh, when you use a basic um, uh, calculators 
this will automatically calculate from here, right? So if you ask the answer, whether this answer is correct or not, right? As a calculator, what you have to do is you have to feed the correct information here. Uh, for example, five into, sorry, get in bracket, five into six, right? And in case if you want to use it with the additional things, for example, within bracket, and the only uh, th uh, differences here is once you divide any, um, because once we, as soon as we perform the basic uh, operations, uh, you will be able to get a uh, basic uh, numbers, right? Uh, the whole numbers, then the integers would be, I mean, once you divide, the integers will be converted as a float number, right? So the float numbers and the data types and structures uh, will be discussing it later on. But uh, the difference between here, uh, four plus one, right? And five, and at the same time, 10 divided by two, right? Uh, 5.0, right? So the difference between the five and 5.0 is and the one is a whole number and the other decimal uh, values, we call it, call it as a uh, floater, the floating value. Right? And apart from these uh, processes, right? Uh, we can see, uh, before that, uh, I'll just introduce to the code, right? Apart from the basic uh, calculator commands, right? What you can do is you can type a command, right? This is my command, right? And this code, right? What we have typed is just a basic uh, text message, and this won't be processed or executed here, right? For example, and a comment, right? So what you can do is you can add a comment right after a hashtag right if there is no hash in the beginning right this is considered as a, a code execution right so what happens is once you enter you will get an invalid syntax why because this is not a proper code i mean this is a, a not a properly formatted code right so what you have to do is you need to execute the codes properly so because of that Because of that, you need to enter it properly. So this extra, right, one hash in the beginning of a line makes all of these are just a text message, right? But if you want to add a second line, right, you need to add a second line as well, right? As a second line also, you need to make it again, again a, a number sign, right? A number sign can be from the beginning of the command or in the at the end of the command as well, right? For example, if you want to add five, five plus five, right? This is a basic one we have done. And this is also a comment. Okay, so which means this won't be processed, but here the five and five, five, five plus five is added as 10 and it has been processed, right? And uh, you will get an output here, right? Based on only this. Right. But in case if you don't add the number sign here, okay. In case if you don't add this number sign, you will get an invalid syntax because of this error messages, right? So this is just a comments, right? So you you might be wondering why this is there, okay? And uh, spam is just a word, right? Usually, uh, uh, like. Uh, those who do uh, basic uh, Python programming are aware that uh, spam and uh, the word, word spam or egg are uh, general terms used to express uh, the basic uh, string value, uh, string values in the beginning, right? Uh, so you can type any name here, right? Uh, like alpha or anything, right? Uh, so spam equals to one, right? So, and you can type your comment here. And once you type this one, again, if you type spam, uh, so this is a assigned variable, you will get an output as one here, right? So we'll come to the variables later on, okay? 
then what we are going to do is we are going to do more mathematical operators in the beginning right so rather than just uh, add, um, plus and minus or additions right there are more mathematical operations right for example uh, let's see the divisions right the, the usually right so we have seen a float number so always the division will have a decimal floating point number so you will usually get a uh, always right always a division will get a floating point number right whether 8 divided by 5 or maybe 100 divided by 5 right you will get a floating point number right even though there is no uh, value here i mean even if it is zero it will be mentioned as a floating point number but apart from that we have a classic division ret returns float right so which means right we have to use a sorry yeah so it's a uh, example for a classic uh, division first right for example why because uh, uh, similar to a pi right 27 22 divided by 7 right it's uh, it goes on continuously and uh, what we can do is um, the python stops at a certain limit here right so this is the maximum this will be printing and passing into the value right? at the same time division if you want uh, if you want to discard the divisions right in between right for example uh, if you don't want the decimal value and if you want the only the whole value right right uh, we don't have to execute these commands here this is just a comment right it won't be processed but i'm just processing it because it's easy for us to uh, check it right you don't need this values to press right you can just say 17 uh, forward slash forward slash three right so this will bring only the integer part of five here okay so if we get this one right how do we get the reminder value right so the reminder value as usual other programming languages right you can use a percentage sign here and again you need to you don't have to use this values right right so the reminder value will be 17 so which means uh, 15 divided by 3 is 5 and at the same time the reminder is 2 okay so the reminder you will be needing a percentage sign and the general uh, the whole uh, division value will be uh, two forward slashes so these are basic uh, mathematical operations and there is a division plus reminder right in case if you want to multiply this right you can get this one so this is a answer right 15 plus 2 at the same time now we'll go for the uh, square values which is for example if you want to type 5 square right and usually the uh, word processor they will have an option to superscribe uh, or subscribe and all but here in the single line uh, commands right if you want to have a square right if you if it is a general 5 e into right uh, instead of uh, uh, multiplier right we are using asterisk here right so instead of asterisk just asterisk one asterisk will be multiplying right five into two but if you want a square five squared right what you have to do is you need to add two uh, asterisks right and that means five to the power of two which is 25 and you can change uh, any number or any square numbers uh, for example uh, 4 to the power of 10 right you will get an answer here right so you can change any number and not even square right any uh, to the power you can add it here right and for example 2 to the power of uh, 7 here if you want to text it uh, you will get the answers here okay and so this is very uh, basics of uh, python uh, numerics i mean python as a calculator right and i would like to ask you a very basic question right 
whether you want uh, you need a practice session or you want to download anything or you want to ask any questions in the beginning right right now or you can ask, ask the questions at the later stage as well uh, i'll just quickly uh, ask if there are any questions to see Okay, uh, so you yes, you don't have to say no or clear. Just if you have questions, you can ask, right? Otherwise, uh, let's uh, proceed. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can answer. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, please refrain from uh, asking, um, I mean, saying no. Um, Okay. Okay. Fine. So I'll just stop it right now. Uh, yes. Uh, so I have stopped it because there are few questions. It's better if I answer it right now. Uh, how come uh, seventeen percentage become two? Right. So this is. Uh, 17 percentage 2 is sorry sorry 17 percentage 3 right 17 percentage sign uh, 3 right is 2 right why because it's uh, 15 divide by sorry 15 percentage is 0 right why because 15 if you divide by 3 is 5.0 so which is 5 into 3 is 15 and the remaining two is the balance here right so if it is 18 3 you don't get the answer i mean you don't get any um, reminder here right why because you can divide this by three right so 18 can be divided by three right so this answer is i hope the, this helps right 18 percentage sign of i see 18 dividing by three is fine okay uh so the second okay and uh, there was one more question uh why uh this is rounding off uh, okay there was a question on python uh some extent is it okay to pycharm instead of jupiter or spider yes uh i have just given very two example jupiter uh, Jupyter Notebook or Spider, right? You can use PyCharm. Uh, in some cases, I use PyCharm, so it's better. Right? There are advantages, and uh, yeah, some advantages over one, uh, the other one or the other. So once you uh, go for the session three or four, uh, you can use any version, any uh, software you like, right? But I said in the first program, it's uh, better. If you use the uh, the basic version, and uh, there was one more question. Uh, uh, okay, why this is uh, rounding off? Okay, there was a rounding off question, and there's a backspace uh, uh, question as well, right? Backspace in the sense. Uh, uh, why you can't delete this i mean once you enter something right you can't delete this you can't change it right so that's over the line has been executed and you can't go back to this line okay but uh there was a 17 discussion right why this is rounding off yes yes uh, to round it off only we are using this uh, uh command special command uh, operator right if you just give one single slash you will get a decimal number up to 5.666667 but uh, if you want to round it off uh, uh, yeah there is a rounded uh, rounding off there is a new uh, separate uh, operator but uh, without any extra values you can get a reminder right rounding off i will uh, will get this uh, code as well how to do a rounding off right but if you want to get the the whole value integer value you can get this up to 5 okay Okay, so let's go to the uh, move on to the variable. Uh, 
right uh, what is uh, variable right so uh, in case i mean for the advanced users here will understand what is variable uh, but let's say if you are a very beginner and uh, have no knowledge of other any other programming uh, uh, tools uh, as of now uh, so which means uh, you might be wondering right what is variable right so uh, rather than teaching a lot of uh, theory with uh, presentations right uh, we'll just uh, so for the starting a session. Okay. So here in this. Okay. So for example, in this uh, variable, what we use is uh, we will use an equal sign here and assign a, a particular value for example if you see uh, i'm going to add this variable right right so what does this mean means uh, the width with this 20 i have given a particular command right and if you get this type this number again with uh, it will give you return the output or return that number value you have given this 20 right so what you need to focus on is the equal sign right equal sign after the let's say this is a variable name after a variable right means assign a value to a variable right so we are assigning a value which is 20 to the variable name here okay and afterwards there won't be any uh, results i mean the results won't be uh, given after this interactive prompt for example this is an interactive prompt uh, let's say i type my name okay and i'll assign a value 55 okay and i won't get an answer here right to get the output right i have to type in a variable name right or in other case i have to type the uh, print command here uh, to get the variable so that's what we need to see this one so in this case uh, in case if you are using uh, any other id right you have to be very careful right um, with uh, after assigning a variable you have to call the variable or print print the variable right to get the output or return right otherwise you will not get any return here okay and what's the point of adding a variable now okay uh, so for example i'll give a feeder variable i mean i have assigned a 20 into width so let's assign a height right again height is equal to 5 into 9 right either you can just type uh, any numbers let's like say 80 right or instead of that you can type 5 into 9 also right so again you won't get any number right either you can assign a direct number or you can uh, get the number right so let's say what is the so let's say what is the value 45 okay either if you want to add the 45 here in the beginning that's also possible right like with this equal to 20 right you can assign the value or you can assign a equation kind of a values as well right and now what we can do is by adding this uh, variables i mean assigning the values to after assigning a values to the variable what we can use is uh, it's directly get an on getting an answer for example you can just type the variable name or maybe you can multiply variables among them right so you can multiply width into height which is 20 into 45 and you can get the print right uh, to do a little more right over over it right uh, for that what you can do is uh, if you want right if you really want uh, what you can do is um you can assign another variable right uh, right or maybe total you can multiply the variables in between and mention so hereafter if you just assign a new variable right so what we have done is we have assigned a 20 value 20 to the variable width and value uh, 5 into 9 which is 45 into assign that value to height 
and again we have assigned a new variable which is equal to already assigned variable with into height so now let's print this okay which is total the same right and in case uh, in case if you want to remove the variables also right you the operate all the operators whatever you have done so far will work right uh, your height minus okay, you will get the answer here okay but right uh, in the beginning i have said it's better to use uh, python idle in the beginners if you are a beginner right uh, why because the only uh, advantage you will get by using this is right uh, let's say i type total here you will get a 900 but total if i type again i'll get an error message here right why because the name total is not defined right so why this is not defined because right already this is there right but uh, let's say total right and that is also an error message a capital l at the end right that's also an error message right sorry uh, okay so all of these are an error messages right why because uh, the actual variable name is T O T A L and all symbols, but where whenever wherever you add a capital T here, right? Uh, in the beginning, where wherever you add a capital T here, automatically that variable name is different, right? So here the phenomenon is we usually say case sensitive, right? Case sensitive means right each of these capital and simple, right? Uh, variable names are considered totally a two different variables right for example we can add again another value with capital total equal to 150 right and capital t o t a l is 150 right so this is 150 we have assigned a variable right so which is the simply 150 and this this variable we have assigned here. Uh, yeah, yeah. This variable we have assigned here as 900. Okay, so that's a difference here. Okay, so we we should uh, check. We have to be aware that these are case sensitive things, right? And when we deal with case sensitivity, right, it is always uh, good to make uh, several mistakes when you are learning. The basic stuff right so that's where, where that's why you need to use the basic ide and later on you can uh, change it okay and uh, if you are learning uh, c or java right i think uh, i'm i i'm sure some of you definitely many of you learn uh, c c plus plus or java uh, or you might have learned any other some other programs as well uh, and uh, you might be wondering um, why python is so simple because uh, if to print this statement right or assigning a variable in c or c plus plus so java is not a single line right it's multiple lines and uh, assigning a variable and assigning a values uh, just a print statement is another uh, three or four lines in other programming languages so that's why uh, python is more simplest uh, i mean it's very easy to learn and uh, you can use Python for many uh, data science projects uh, in science, engineering, business, and a lot more in analytics. And uh, because of the uh, high functionality and the ease, uh, ease in, I mean, very uh, easiness of this. But of course, right, automatically this will be converted to a, uh, other existing uh, coding, right? That we will uh, take it later. I mean, but what we, whatever we see here won't be it's very less uh, well okay so coming back to the numbers yeah so this is uh, assigning a number at the same time right what is uh, a variable is not defined right uh, so maybe assigning a value right uh, yeah so that we have done let's say if you don't have a variable name like for example this i have oops, 
sorry. Um, Oops, uh, I'm sorry, I have clicked some other. Okay, fine. Okay, so let's say we have seen uh, the variable name is uh, case sensitive, right? Uh, once a letter is uh, different, I mean, one, when there is a slight changes in the letter, even a capital symbol also a uh, case sensitive, it will be an error, right? At the same time, let's say we'll type totally a different one, right? Uh, a variable, let's say uh, alpha, right? So just, I'm just typing alpha here and the name alpha is not defined, right? So what does this mean, right? Which means if we are not assigning a variable, for example, total is equal to 150, right? Uh, with this equal to 20. Uh, height is equal to uh, five into nine, right? So once we, if we don't perform this kind of uh, uh, code, right? And if you, uh, out of the way, if you ask uh, any um, variable to print the variable, it you, are, you will be getting an error name, name alpha is not defined, which means the name alpha is not defined means, which means the variable is not available at the moment, right? For example, if you even you can say, right, even if you get the same name, error name, variable name alpha is not defined, which means the variable is not available, right? But all you have to do is you have to assign a value to a variable, let's say, for example, 50. And if you ask the, again the same code, you will get the variable, right? So without assigning a value, if you call a variable, you will get an error name, uh, name error. Right, so the types of uh, errors uh, we'll be checking it. I mean, uh, we will be uh, referring in next class as well. Uh, so, what? How many types of errors? So, this is a name error, and there are syntax errors. Uh, for example, uh, right? Uh, sorry, that's uh, code. Uh, spam divide by three. Uh, sorry, spam is also not defined, right? Uh, uh, sorry, let's say beta is equal to alpha and beta divided by two. Okay, so this is a type error, right? Uh, just to show you some uh, error, different types of error. So the name error is a uh, name which means if there is uh, no data, I mean, uh, data available, right? If you don't assign a value to a variable, you will get a name error here, right? So you have to check for the error type at the same time, the error message, right? And the traceback most recent call starts means the line. So usually line one means if there are several lines around 500, 600 lines, you will get which line the error is okay and the code and the type of an error and the error message here so you have to see refer to this right and you don't have to be scared of uh, these kind of an errors right as soon as you get these things right so based on the error type right so if there is a type error right so then what we know is the type errors are usually and the unsupport, uh, unsupported operands right for example uh, I have assigned a string value, right, which is letters, and I have tried, so this is, there is no mistake here, but here I have divided a string value, which is alpha by two, which cannot be done, right? So you can't divide any letters, right? Divide in the sense you can cut the letter by, by after printing it, but A divided by two doesn't mean anything, okay? So this is a type error, right? So type errors are, Usually this is str is a string and integer, right? So I have performed the integer operations uh, operator, right? For a string, which string is a letters, right? So we'll coming back to the strings again, right? So for example, right? What is a string again? Uh, 
Okay, I'm just restarting it again. Uh, the function keys are not working. So because of that, I have to close it and open it again. Okay, that's not an issue, right? So now uh, we'll go for a strings. Uh, strings are very important because uh, numbers, I mean, it's always uh, not, it's not easy to work with numbers also, right? Because uh, of the statistics and data manipulations and a lot of uh, uh, statistics uh, uh, functions, right? It's hard, but at the same time, um, uh, Python is uh, good in uh, statistical uh, data manipulations. At the same time, uh, data mining, right? Data mining in the sense, you trace uh, data. For example, um, if you uh, open up uh, Facebook and uh, if you browsing the Facebook at the same time, even if you close the Facebook uh, without signing off, uh, type anything else, automatically the cookies, uh, Facebook cookies, they trace the information, whatever you type and send it to uh, Facebook, right? And uh, if you use Google, uh, Google will collect the information uh, for the quality control purposes, they say. Uh, but at the same time, right, I mean, all the websites, almost every single website uh, these days, right, they trace the web, uh, whatever you type, right? For example, uh, just to give you a basic, oops, getting a lot of errors here, right? For example, in Google, right? Uh, here, what I can do is, right, be, even before I complete typing, okay, so I didn't press enter, right, but even before I type, uh, Google automatically collects the data from my browser, and they send the data, they process, and they output the results for me, right, and since I have done a lot of Python here, so they have suggesting Python IDE, Python online, Python for loop, dictionary, download and compiler, right? Uh, so let's say uh, Python environments, right? And it's ask variables, okay? So automatically Google collects the information and they process, right? How they process, uh, I mean, not on the Google, I mean, we'll leave the trade names, uh, anything. I mean, any business these days, the current uh, in future, the data management, data mining, data collections, and data manipulation is the future. And it's a basics of uh, artificial intelligence, right? Even before artificial intelligence comes, uh, data science is a very huge uh, area, right? Why? Because uh, they collect a lot of information. They dump, I mean, there are a lot of data. And to process the data, you need a lot of uh, algorithms, right? So why? Because uh, without uh, processing it you will just get a garbage uh, a collection of a uh, lot of uh, data right so you can't convert those into information so because of that you can't extract the data out of it so this is a common example i mean whether you use uh, this i mean business versions or uh, uh, in medical or information technology or uh, engineering right everyone wants to collect data right if you simply want uh, uh, to try because I can't uh, open up my um, uh, browser cookies here because I'm sharing the screen on public environment, but you can uh, open. I mean, uh, you can uh, check on uh, uh, your own browsers, open it up and see how many uh, cookies uh, enabled, right? Even uh, Facebook or Google or any softwares you have visited, even if you logged out of uh, the particular um, uh, websites, Right. Still, the uh, cookies are there and they collect the information, right, whether you type it. So usually what happens is when I type uh, Python and a lot of uh, Python or uh, data science R or process or statistics, and when I go sign into the uh, Facebook and Facebook will suggest you, OK, do you want Python idle or I have a better uh, Python variable or you can purchase Python programming course and a lot of suggestions uh, it will process, it will give you. So this kind of uh, processes, right? are important when it comes to a string operations or data, I mean data, uh, because it's not uh, numbers we have to look into, that's a uh, text message, right? How do we access this uh, text interface? So that is known as a string, right? So like numbers, we call strings in Python. The strings are just alphabets, I mean, alphanumeric numbers are strings, 
system, right? But how do we get alpha uh, numbers, right? For example, uh, let's say this, okay? For example, here, these are example for single quotes, uh, strings, right? You don't need to process this, right? You can just type it. This won't be executed because it's a comment, okay? Uh, just spam and x okay so it's if i don't type uh, the codes uh, here there are single codes just spam and x right i'll get a syntax error right so this is a different type of error uh, syntax error is a invalid syntax which means uh, the code there are errors in the code okay so now in the string operations right how do we use doesn't i mean let's say if i want to type doesn't right it takes this code as a printing code right so i can't type this code like doesn't here so how do i type this right what i should do is right i should put a backslash right uh, this is a forward slash i'm um, sorry This is a forward uh, backslash and this is a forward slash for sorry forward slash forward slash uh, if you have to press shift and question mark that's the same there's a forward slash and a backslash so you have to be careful when you're typing uh, backslash and uh, forward slash here right so a backslash and a quote right will print the quote here okay so what what does it mean means you can insert a double quote right in between double quote you can put a single quote it doesn't work i mean it will the doesn't means it works okay to escape the, the single quote you can put it right for example uh, yeah sorry no uh, that's fine so to escape a single quote you can put it here right or you can use a double quote as well right uh, instead of this way right you can use a double quote right you can use single double quote also thus right or thus sorry doesn't and it will work right so in in between two double quotes you can add a single quote and it will be skipped and printed it will be printed but in case uh, if you want to use a single quote here you can add a uh, backslash and, and a single quote it will have the same function almost same function right as long as uh, the printing value if you are not passing this value uh, so yeah as long as you don't pass this value to a different variable then it will be a problem usually we avoid but uh, without that you can manage okay so coming back to others right uh, so let's say for example there are a lot of uh, comments here. I'll be sharing this uh, text file uh, in the O2AI team. Uh, so they will upload it uh, by tomorrow, right? I think tomorrow, end of tomorrow, they will upload the additional materials and the practice uh, phrases. Uh, so then uh, these are copyrighted information uh, from basic uh, uh, python.org uh, um, uh, uh, website. So I can uh, share this uh, with the copyrighted information as well. So you can use this uh, practical uh, practice uh, uh, codes. Okay. So in case uh, if you want to use uh, full stop and comma, you can use this kind of a uh, codes as well. Okay. So I'll be skipping this. These are very basic, so you can print it. Okay. Then the second one right uh, these are very basics so i'll be just skipping you can either say print right and the print within print you can give this okay and uh, let's go to the backslash and n right for example uh, i'll say within quotes uh, oxygen AI. Okay, so let's say this if you want to print it like this. Uh, but let's say if you want to print the oxygen AI and the AI you want it on the 
next line okay so what you have to do is you can print it i mean you might be it might be boring uh, if i give and there are a lot of operations like this uh, you can learn this and it will be in handy uh, when you are doing a lot of coding right but uh, it will be boring right now why because uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, coding is uh, sorry mistake yeah, no. um, I, I had to print it okay so yeah yeah this is the only uh, issues sometimes so when you print it here right uh, because if you just print it automatically this will print but uh, the print output command uh, will separate it because the output command only this separates uh, the next line. So once you print, right, the same way, the backslash and in, right, will convert the uh, following uh, statement into, I mean, that will move to the second line, okay? So as long as you print it, or otherwise if you just give a, without this, without any n, this one just print it, it will print without a backslash only, it will print it. And without that also, it will be on a single side, right? So what ha happens is the backslash and n will move the following line to the next line, right? That will print it here like that. Okay, so I'll be skipping a little uh, practice uh, here, right? Uh, why because uh, yeah why because it's a uh, little uh, boring right so what i'm going to do is i'll check for a little uh, string uh, manipulation so then uh, at least you can uh, watch the okay yeah okay okay Okay, so let's see here. Now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to give a more string manipulations, right? Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to can be, uh, strings can be indexed, right? So the indexing means uh, what, right? What is an index and how do we uh, index uh, words? I mean, there are lines you can index it and you can lines, word, uh, sentence and letters, right? So in this instance right what we are going to do is this right how do we index in sorry index and for the index how do we uh, retrieve the information as well right for example once i have given a, a particular assigned a variable so the word variable i have assigned python right so if i print uh, it will be you will be getting the output here. Uh, I see some hands, some have raised hands. Okay, I think, uh, should I give some time for you to ask questions? Okay, let's finish this and uh, I'll have the uh, questions quickly. Okay, so what this means, uh, printing a word, uh, so which is the variable, Right. You need to understand the difference between these two, a print word or a print word. Okay. Here, the first statement within quotes, which means this means a variable name, the name of the variable. But the second word, the word means just a word, WRD, it will print the WRD, right? So let's say for example, I'll just say alpha. I'm using alpha again and again. We'll use, I mean, not to use delta. So we'll just use alpha continuously. Yeah. Uh, print alpha. So automatically this will print. But if you just use alpha without a code, it will make a name error, right? Name is name alpha is not defined, which means we have not assigned any 
variable. So, but if you just want to print it, it will print. Okay. So that's the difference here between the quote and without quote printing, right? So here the without quote means that means a variable, right? You have to assign a variable here before you print it. Okay. So in this instance, right, we can see the word Python, right, which is assigned to the word variable as one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And six letters totally. Okay. So now a command, right? So I'll just copy the whole page so it's easy for you to understand. Uh, word and within square bracket, right? This is not a, a curly, I mean, round bracket or curly bracket. In a square bracket, if I put a place zero, right? Which means the character in position zero, right? So there are several characters here. So in the word, there are six characters total and uh, Python. So here, what we need to know is the first position is zero, right? We are not going to start with one here, right? It uh, differs from uh, uh, different programming languages, right? Usually uh, in Python, it's zero, right? So the first letter position is a zero here. And the second letter is a one, two, three, four, five. So like that. So here, if you put zero, automatically the character zero will be placed here one right so in other words if i use y if i need y i have to use the second position the second this this is zero and this is one right so i have to start with one okay likewise zero one two three four five so if i put five here i'll get a n here sorry five here that will print in. Okay, so hope this is clear, right? So this means uh, we are indexing this and from the index, we are going to retrieve the, not the complete word, just only the a particular position of the word, right? For example, if you need print word, the entire words will be printed here, right? But if you want only a particular uh, range, for example, print word and within square bracket, I'll put three close bracket, square bracket and close bracket. And I'll get only the word H here, which is uh, Python zero, one, two, three. Okay. So the third one is H third position is H, right? But if you count it from one, it will be fourth, but we are counting it from zero. So, which is very important in Python. Let me see this. Okay. Okay. So, and instead of counting from zero to one, right? From the, we can count it from the last digit as well, right? For example, if we use one, Python book position one, which means the second letter Y will be printed, right? But the same one, right? If you put a minus one, right? Which means this will printing it from the back, okay? Which is N, right? And when numbering here, you might be wondering if should be, should I write minus zero? Okay, let's see, right? Whether minus zero, what does means? So P, right? Which is the first position, right? Why? Because mathematically, we know that you can't have a minus zero, right? So zero is a center value. So zero is always zero, right? You can have a minus one and a plus one. But one is a second digit, but minus one is the last digit, right? So we need to know that this is the minus one. And from here, from the right, if you want to go back, so minus one, minus two is O, minus three, H, okay? So for example, uh, it's a very simple uh, one word, right? Python is allocated as I into a um, array, I mean data, right? But usually when we import, it is not like this. We have a huge amount of data from, uh, it will be in uh, thousands or millions lines with several uh, text. So for that analysis, you need a lot of uh, command, but just to 
practice only we are doing it here right or a minus six so for example let's see minus six what does that mean okay so but you don't have a six here right why because we are starting from zero okay so six is out of range but minus six is available why because starting from the minus one right from the right side okay uh, yeah i think there are several students are raising their hand because of some questions um, yeah we'll finish the last part here and uh, yeah, last part here, and then uh, we'll come for the come to the questions. Uh, yeah. So here, one more advantage is right counting it. Right. For example, we can count it here from the same word zero to two. Right. Let's say if you want to print it down, right, you will get it printed. Right, so when you use uh, the print command system mode, uh, you will won't get a code here, right? Or otherwise, if you just get it, uh, this will only work in the shell, right? Uh, if you use the text and enable it, you can't type like this. You have to write a proper uh, command here. Uh, so that we will learn it from next class. So that's fine. So here, if you just type zero to two, which means uh, zero to two means this is zero and one and two we don't take it so uh, two zero to two so there are two letters and in case if you want four you will get the answer and six you can get the complete answer right and will we get an error message of seven no right why because that will print everything after that okay if you want you can have we have a manual validation here right other than that it will work and now can we add this here right here we are going to get a error message let's say adding a word for example if we add it uh, the word from two right uh, let's get this one Right, you will get up to two. And if you get, sorry, let's say colon, right? So here, so this is a continuation process from whatever you can start, right? From the basic ends with up to two, the second position. Okay, at the same time, here, this command says, from the second position to whatever the future in which is. Okay, so that's why you get a two different answers here. But in this instance, right, you can add two strings and you can merge it here, right? Why? Because we take this first part and we take the second, I mean, the second part and merge it using a add sign right for example i type word uh, two okay equal uh shell okay sorry spam oh uh, sorry yeah i made a mistake uh word two okay uh, oh this is Python, right? So it's a common mistake. You add this one. Uh, two. Okay. So you make this very simple, silly mistakes sometimes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now Word two is uh, spam, like uh, similar to the word Python. Now, what I'm going to do is you can say print word plus word two. Okay, 
So once you finish this one, like word two, you have assigned a word uh, spam yeah, in the word two variable. And here, word one, word variable was assigned a Python value, right? Uh, so if you are excited uh, with uh, around thousand students online, right, you make very, very simple mistakes. So here I have not uh, checked the uh, error, right? So when there is an error, you what you have to do is just stop, listen to the error message, right? If you have noticed the error message, the spam is not defined, which means the variable is not there, right? So I have given a variable name here, so which is wrong, right? I should have used a code, right? Uh, so that's apart from that. So this is a print word plus word two, which is two words have been merged here and Python spam, right? This is the same thing happened here as well, right? So let's say we will add first two or three letters from here and from the last three letters from here, right? So which is PYT and which is PAM, okay? So the code would be print word. So first two codes, so up to first, so I'll just put a colon until three, okay? Plus word two uh, within a square bracket, I'll just say starting from uh, two, one, okay? Okay, print it, right? So this means from the word, first word, I mean the variable, uh, from here to here I have typed, so PYT, so the third position is, this is zero, one, two, and three. So three won't be printed, so first three letters, PYT. So PYT is printed here, and plus, by adding a plus sign, word two from after, one, which is spam, this is a zero, and this is one. So from one onwards, one, two, three, right? The remaining. So add these two into here and here, like this, right? So this is uh, similar to those who work with Excel uh, concatenate uh, command or uh, any other commands, right? How to add strings or how to divide strings and how to uh, manipulate your data, for example, uh, this is this comes i mean this kind of uh, uh, things comes in handy right uh, to remove the stem words uh, for example uh, in google right you might be typing uh, eating right right so let's say you get a lot of common right or oh, sorry let's say eating disorders okay uh, yeah, so this is, uh, we call it uh, stem, right? So if you want to remove the stems, okay, you have to get it. Uh, so you have to find uh, ing from ing onwards if you want to remove it uh, and make the uh, first uh, verbs, right? And separate it. And once you separate it, you have to see whether you need to add anything here, right? Or you have to leave it like this, right? Or you want to do with these words, right? And each of these words are, very important, right? For example, uh, uh, just to show you some uh, demo, uh, let's say for example, eating disorders, right? So if you see eating disorders, obesity, right? So for example, if you search here and what you have to do is, what you have to see is, you have to immediately see the uh, address bar here, right? What you are going to see, right? So what, if you even if you type like this right or if you type uh, eating plus disorders plus obesity right you will get the answer okay you get the similar answers the same right the same answers right uh, right i have eating disorder uh, what is sorry what is obesity okay so if you type something like this automatically all of these the auxiliary verbs pronoun 
uh, i u and s all of this will be removed right how what will be used up to a, part, a, a particular range and the verbs nouns adjectives adverbs depending on uh, uh, depending on the uh, search will be used right so this this process right these processes are i mean in data mining these processes are stemming and um, we ask uh, different lines of processing but before before you do anything of any any kind of this right you need to perform a lot of operations like that right so that's why you need to use this kind of words right these kind of an operators here okay and uh, yeah minus 2 with 32 okay so now uh, we have a 33 let's leave 15 minutes so i have a lot of questions already waiting uh, yeah so let's finish the last two parts here uh, the j word right adding uh, this right so apart from that this is a single word but you can add multiple lines of uh, words here right uh, to uh, as a list right so what you can do is right in this one we call it the adjustment whether this adjustment is supported right so in python this is in the strings that is not supported right why because the string object does not support the item assignments right what we are going to try to do is in the word zero at the zero position in the indexing we are going to we are trying to change the letter python into p into j right which is not supported which we need to know right so to modify this right in case uh, if you want to do this one also this is also not going to work right why because the string commands you can't insert from here from zero to or after zero the last uh, uh, this position you can't insert it right so because of that right what you can do is you can add a, a new operator right what we have done here the word uh, word word plus word two right instead of that instead of you can have it you can have j or in, instead of to r right anything right so maybe you can type j right jaitan so instead of this we leave the first letter right from the first object onwards i mean the first uh, index onwards which is this p is zero from here onwards right we take this by using this command and in addition to that we add a additional j in the front which is leaving the first letter from the word right and adding a j here so this is jaitan and this is raitan so you can leave it like this on the other way you can type uh, the other way also word uh, okay plus uh, okay so this right okay so let's do a, a c h a r m right right charm okay so some uh, because I have not introduced PyCharm, uh, I have mentioned the list uh, PyCharm. So just to for a justice, uh, PyCharm. Okay. So word uh, you can search uh, from the second onwards. So this is zero and one, cropped off from the um, variable, and the additional C H A R M charm I have added here. So that fills that makes up a new word. Okay. And uh, yeah, the last one before we do the listing and all. Let's say we add a, a long letters like this, and you can add a statement like len, right? S, and you can count total number of letters here. By right? the same way, you can have word, or maybe you can count, right? Two. So this will count total number of. Uh, letters in a particular word right so you can count a particular word or you can count a particular series of words or any okay so i think 
the the whole um, operations we have covered a very 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 basics on the session one right uh, yeah hopefully some uh, basics of this will be boring for some students who have said uh, they are advanced or intermediate right but others i hope this will be uh, beneficial yeah so let's ask uh, some questions right uh, what are the things of questions you are going to ask Oh. Okay. Uh, everyone, right? If you have questions, I mean, uh, just don't type uh, yes or no or anything. But if you have questions, you can, I mean, those who have raised the questions, uh, please ask uh, if you have any questions. And I think one of uh, one student wants to uh, ask the question um, as well. Unmute the mic and ask also, but yeah, you can. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, I finished the Python uh, uh, all the module modules. Now mm -hmm. I now I log into uh, Spider, uh, but I'm unable to log in that account. My mm -hmm. uh, Windows 10 is uh, defending that account. Okay, so this is a troubleshooting questions. So what we can do is uh, you can uh, I'll share the email address or the the in here in the program there will be a question and answer session if you have any uh, troubles i mean so if you need any troubleshooting or a, 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 any uh, technical difficulties uh, so to answer upload a screenshot and uh, your question so what we will do is uh, our team um, of uh, i think uh, the o2a ai also there will be a team for technical support i think i hope uh, we not will agree on it uh, so they will um, reply you as soon as possible within uh, 24 or 48 hours they will reply if you have a technical things right because uh, without understanding the exact question i don't know i can't ask answer this uh, question because we need a lot of lot more information in terms of uh, technical things uh, in uh, in terms of uh, spider or jupiter or pycharm or any other technical things so uh, we'll stick to the uh, questions based on today's session but if you have any additional uh, questions uh, we will answer it through our technical uh, Q and A. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think you Vino has uh, emailed. Uh, he has given his email. I think you can. Uh, uh, I there will be a question and answer queue. I mean, the, otherwise uh, you will be sending a lot of emails to him, uh, which is uh, spamming his e uh, mail ID. So we will upload a, a question and answer upload uh, query here. Uh, additional lines uh, so then you can um, ask your questions there okay coming back to other questions Yeah, any more questions or any other inquiries? No, sir. Okay, so let's ask others also because there are several people who wants to ask some questions related to the today's uh, session. Yeah, you can type your answer or you can unmute your unmute and ask as well. How can you download this uh, session, sir? Recording session? Uh, recording session. Okay, you can access the recording session for all the recording sessions. Uh, give me a second. I'll unmute. Yeah, uh, so you can um, uh, download this. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. 
uh, okay you can download this uh, session i mean download in the sense you can access the session through uh, the facebook link as well as uh, i will i think i they will um, uh, upload it here in the web page I think you can check the page, program page. So using the program page, uh, you can uh, you can check the session one recording. So the link, once the session is uploaded to the YouTube or Facebook, uh, the links will be uploaded here. So you can access, uh, download it, uh, and as well as the question and answer also, you can get it from here. Uh, and once you complete the session, because uh, uh, we are covering uh, in within two hours. Uh, you can't cover a overview of Python because it's we are having a, a huge uh, variance in our participants' uh, data. Like for example, uh, complete beginners and some expert level people. So we have to limit to the uh, beginners. Uh, so because of that, uh, we run a session every week. But as well as we will add add on uh, several other sessions as well. Uh, the recorded session so you can uh, check the additional running materials and come back to the uh, practice quiz before next uh, session starts on uh, 8th of august hello sir hello sir yeah can you uh, explain in, uh, uh, briefly explaining python and that application and importance about the importance of uh, python okay uh, Okay, it's uh, yeah, I didn't expect the question, but uh, when it comes to the importance of Python, uh, you can use uh, Python for any applications. For example, I mean, there are a lot. Uh, I'm just thinking which one would be more suitable, but every, everything is uh, suitable. Like, for example, from me, uh, myself, uh, we do uh, bioinformatics uh, analysis from Nishe. Uh, so we do a lot of uh, Python and R programming for uh, medical and uh, medical related life sciences applications. But there are, of course, uh, Auto AI from um, Oxygen. Uh, they do a lot of uh, AI in engineering uh, and uh, data science uh, platform researchers, right? So when when we say engineering or uh, medical or life sciences. There are plenty of applications, uh, either it can be human or agriculture or industries, or even in engineering, you can, it can be any type of engineering, um, uh, computing or software or, or BPO or um, uh, civil law electronics. In any engineering, you can uh, make an uh, automation. And uh, when it comes to uh, business, uh, you can use this platform as well. So applications, what we will do is uh, we, uh, cover when we cover the data manipulation and data visualization, you will get a very overall uh, broad um, understandings of uh, what is data manipulation and what is uh, data visualization and applications of uh, different uh, applications in uh, engineering, medical as well as business in um, the last two sessions. So there you will learn a lot, I think. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yes. Sir, uh... How about using uh, Google Colab instead of uh, Jupyter? Uh, yes, that's uh, uh, one substitute, right? Uh, I didn't uh, mention Google Colab here. You can use Google Colab as well. Uh, Google Colab is uh, online, and uh, we use we do use uh, Google Colab for teaching. And uh, I think from next class onwards, in case if you have a less uh, process or RAM, RAM uh, you can use uh, Google Colab, like in case if you have a low uh, RAM, uh, RAM capacity or a hard disk capacity, uh, or if you need more processing, you can use uh, Google Colab. Um, okay, sir, uh, excuse me. Yes, sir, uh, uh, can't we uh, learn about any, uh, any about Power BI table under the uh, data uh, visualization in the last uh, session? Uh, in this uh, series one, uh, in the particular series, uh, uh, Tableau and uh, Power BI, we are not going to do it here. But in series uh, three, uh, for business analytics, we are going to do, uh, do it. So, I mean, uh, I won't be doing it, but uh, there will be somebody, I think, as the planning, uh, I think, is that correct, uh, Vinod, right? Uh, on behalf of uh, Oxygen, I'm just uh, conveying. Right? Yes. Yes, Mr. Um, is there any attendance link in this session? 
sorry if they are i'm sorry okay uh hello sir how in the working process uh, work, working environment how can we introduce this python for the working environment it means uh, let's say we have php or c sharp some languages so how can we introduce this python for our business can you just give me uh, one example and explain okay uh, for the integrations there are many um, uh, uh, platforms you need i mean you can't directly in connect uh, one database to another database right so you need a lot of uh, frameworks uh, i mean it depends on what business uh, particularly uh, i think this is not the right uh, um, uh, session to discuss this uh, we will discuss this in application but uh, for, to give you an answer basic brief answer if you want to introduce python with any other um, uh, platform like for example in cloud uh, Uh, website for example a dynamic uh, website if you want to introduce uh, python uh, tools as well uh, already i think many websites even uh, every single website here uh, uh, hosted uh, for example in godaddy or manual uh, all the cron jobs and many other tools are running on python uh, uh, python and php right so php initiators are running on uh, python so the in for the to integrate you need uh, frameworks and integrations but uh, but it it's uh, not easy it's sophisticated uh, but uh, we will cover that in the last um, chapter okay thank you sir got it sir sir uh, sir uh, me uh, i i want to know uh, where will you upload this recording to google okay. drive or Okay, right. I'll, Because uh, uh, my internet connection is. Uh, okay. What I will do is uh, give me a second. Uh, I'm just unmuting because there are several people uh, asking the question same time. Uh, I would recommend if you can ask your questions in um, like the chat box, it would be better, right? Uh, but uploading the data sessions will be done here, right? If you can save this uh, link. with you i think uh, we will um, uh, share it with oxygen and as uh, mr uday also will be uh, sending this um, the session information so uh, the attendance and everything uh, we are not taking a separate attendance here so by as soon as you cover all the practice quizzes there will be final quiz and you need to answer all the practice quizzes and uh, uh, get the, the grades on the final quiz uh, to get uh, enrolled for the program Uh, but all these links will be uploaded here uh, the recorded sessions and link so i have given the recorded sessions and links to you again in this one okay any more any other questions you can ask questions through the chat as well Mm. Yeah. So, is there any questions from Facebook as well? No, right? Hello. Okay. Yeah. The link that you just shared is not quite working. So uh, okay. it just uh, says that uh, the server is temporarily unable to service. uh let me see i think uh, the traffic because many people have uh, uh -huh. clicking it uh, so but i don't think a uh, thousand people can access it at the same time okay uh, maybe because of that yeah maybe because of the traffic uh, yeah i am getting the same error uh, so this is an old error okay uh, because of the traffic but uh, you can access it uh, uh, later on as well thank you very much and uh, one more thing uh in in the program that you have uh, shared a few more codes isn't it so will we be able to you know, get it back yeah sure in the same link you can access it through that uh mm -hmm. when i will post it through facebook as well the sure. codes, codes and the additional learning materials we will 
add it uh, in the learning material uh, list. Sure. So will, we will list it as uh, learning material one, two, three, the codes and all. Sure. Thank you very much. Okay, sure. So, okay. So, Mr. Udia, can we stop right now? If there are no more questions.